All right, guys, so here's the engine mount off the Can-Am. I have made a couple videos about this, but my mounts broke shortly after going to 32-inch tires. The rubber tore off this aluminum piece. Um, and I had I have another video where I made a homemade fix for this. Um, this mount goes in here like so. Uh, but shout out to Mark LeBlanc, who sent me this via email. So these are some aftermarket engine mounts for what I think is a snowmobile. And it looks like it's a direct replacement for this junk part that came on my Can-Am. So the heights seem to be perfect, and that bolt pattern on it is also perfect. So I think <laughs> this is a 100% bolt-on fix for this problem. So this Can-Am mount relied on the rubber being glued to the aluminum or vulcanized and it tears right off. This mount is a fully captured mount and it's steel, which is better. Um, it might not be as soft as far as vibration dampening, but I don't care. This is gonna be a great fix. So if you wanna do this, here's the part number. I found these on eBay. And I think all you gotta do is remove your engine mount, bolt this down here with the two 10 millimeters, put the factory bolt back in and you're good to go. So yeah. This is my first time, you know, trying to install it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the machine and see how it works. And then if it does work good, I'll, I'll tell you that in a few minutes. So I cannot believe it. These mounts installed absolutely like factory, like very easy install, except for the fact that this is a piece of shit Can-Am. So for whatever reason, Can-Am threads just love to get stripped out and screwed up. So I had to retap three out of the four holes. Um, but yeah, the new mounts are in there. They fit like factory. Be really careful with these bolts that go into the engine. They love to get stripped out and cross thread and everything else. I don't really know why they're so sensitive, but man, they are. Pro tip, you can leave the coolant line and work around it. Didn't have to dump any coolant. That was really nice. And uh, yeah, on this side, the little hose that goes to your water pump weep hole. You see how it's got a little thing down there? I just cut the mount so I didn't have to disconnect the hose. Basically I was lazy and I'm glad I did it. All the oil you're seeing down there is from me spraying cutting oil into the threads to retap the threads going into the motor. Uh, yeah, because I just, every time I work on a Can-Am I strip out two or three things. I don't really have that, Honda, that problem on Hondas. But yeah, dude, these mounts are a good fix. So 60, 70 bucks and your front engine mounts should be bulletproof. I don't see how that's gonna fail, but I will certainly put it to the test. Well, I got you here. Look how beefy this floorboard is. Well to the frame in three places, big pipe, and then these big supports. That is the world's most stout floorboard ever. I wish it was removable. Look how close it is to my darn tire. But I am running 33s with no rear rake, very effectively. Just gotta get the perfect wheel offset.